。身上独特的图腾，除了是个性化的标志，也可能显示身体不同的状况。These colorimetric dyes change color in response to certain biomarkers and can be correlated. With the stress levels of an individual, for example, London University of Science researchers developed a polymer that is sensitive to certain chemical properties. After it is exposed to the polymer, the polymer will change color according to the group's DNA and the color of the polymer. It can be quickly detected by measuring the level of the polymer and the level of the polymer. Now, in the same way as human skin, they are being tested in animals. I am going to tattoo the colorimetric agent. So if look, we look at the tattoo, so it's changed its color completely from blue to green right now. So it's a shift that can be observed by human eye. There's one application is in the monitoring of electrolytes. So this can be used for measuring the performance of athletes. Another application is to monitor the sugar levels of diabetic patients. 不必透过电子仪器，自己的身体就是侦测装置，甚至还研发出生物发光的染料。根据身体不同变化，除了会改变颜色，还会发光，就能透过纹身表现不同的身体状况。We're not just interested in our vitals, but our labs, and whether it's a smart tattoo or patches that can kind of transmit, you know, an intensive care unit level of data 24/7, that gives us whole new pictures of our health. And we're still learning how to make sense of that data. Not only using the skin to monitor the body's changes, the tattoos on the skin can be used as a long-term scanning machine. Different from the ordinary skin tattoo, which can only monitor the body's changes from the skin. This tattoo can be used by using a skin scanner to monitor the body's changes from the skin. This tattoo can be used by using a skin scanner to monitor the body's changes from the skin. So with our technology, with that patch, we can, you know,、uh, just slap this patch on the, you know, subject, and then continuously image and monitor what's going on. This will enable the subject, enable the patient to be in motion, to be on the go, right? So that is that's critical because daily activity, when you are doing exercise, a lot of things will be very different when you are still. It can be applied to any part of the human body where doctors use ultrasound for. This can be applied to. 不但不用走进医院，就能进行超音波的检测，而且还能在运动的情况下拍照检验，这就有助于更精确的诊断。这款利用微智技术打造的弹性贴片，只要放在要检测的部位，就能让超音波的探头进行通讯，用无线传输的方式收集资料，再透过远算法还有人工智慧分析资讯，就能判断出使用者的身体状态。And you can see here is a pulsating artery. So the difference is that、uh, with our、uh, wearable device, the signal is more stable. And instead of having only one scanning line here, we have an array of of sensors, so which can capture up to 32 channels of the signal. And、uh, there is a backend algorithm running, so that is automatically selecting the optimal signal output. 由于很多心血管疾病并没有症状，因此类似简易的测量就能及早发现问题。未来超音波贴片也能应用在癌症的检验当中。So what's interesting with the technology of today is it's getting smaller, cheaper, more mobile, more data enabled, super connected.、So、the world of diagnostics is on the cusp of big shifts, leveraging machine learning, AI, big data, and democratizing diagnostics around the planet. 专家认为，下一代的医疗检验就是不用走进医院，利用皮肤上的侦测装置就能收集身体数据，将有助于慢性病、银发族等等需要长期照护患者轻松判断恢复状况。TVBS 新闻综合报道。